All right, welcome into Pure Adrenaline Sports, everybody. This is John coming at you with the top 25 wide receivers we have projected heading into uh, the preseason here. We're actually two weeks away from the first preseason game between the, the Texans and Bears, so uh, things will start heating up fantasy-wise here pretty soon. But just wanted to give a quick video um, where, where I have our projections at heading into the year. We'll do, uh, once preseason starts, we'll do uh, much more in-depth videos on our projections where we think even though the numbers might not be so good we might have guys higher um than than what the numbers are saying but let's take a look here coming in at number 25 debo sam samuel right off the bat first guy i think that's going to jump up the list is debo samuel uh right now we don't know what the situation is with brandon Ayuk. apparently he has requested a trade from san francisco so if that happens look for debo's numbers to actually increase as well uh, but still, still have him at the 25th wide receiver. So uh, not bad numbers, just under 1,000 yards there uh, through the air. Uh, but definitely can can add some running yards as well. Coming in at number 24 is Zay Flowers from the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, another another guy, 80-plus receptions, 1,000 yards again. So we'll see. I like what they did. Uh, now, Henry, Fantasy-wise, I don't like Henry as much, uh, but yeah, definitely Zay Flowers, a guy I definitely have on my my radar as well. Coming in at number twenty-three, DJ Moore. We'll see how they do with the with Caleb Williams as the new quarterback there in Chicago. But loved loved uh, DJ Moore last year in Chicago. So if if Williams is is half decent, uh, which I think he will be, there's nothing uh, stating stating otherwise yet. Uh, definitely look for DJ Moore to definitely be in the top 20 uh, fantasy wide receivers. Amari Cooper uh, with the Browns coming in at number 22. At number 21, Jalen Waddle. Uh, definitely, I think this is too low, so I'm going to have to look into my numbers a little bit. Right now, average draft position 28.5. So, and being the 21st overall wide receiver, and something's not adding up there. So, I'll take a deeper look into that. But yeah, 1,100 yards through the air, uh, six plus touchdowns at least for that high powered Miami offense. Coming in at number 20, Stephon Diggs right there. Uh, the picture's got him in a Buffalo Bills uniform, but now with the Houston Texans. And it'll be interesting to see here. Uh, they got Diggs. They got Nico Collins. They got Tank Dell coming back. Um, they got Joe Mixon. He's going to get some receptions out of the backfield as well. So uh, not sure who to go with uh, out of the wide receiver group from Houston. But one thing I do know is I'm definitely going after the quarterback. So <laughs> definitely going to put up a ton of points uh, for Stroud this year. Number 19, DK Metcalf from the Seattle Seahawks. <clears throat> Right now, an average draft position of just under 43. Uh, Devonta Smith from the Philadelphia Eagles, living out here in Eagles country. Uh, we hear a lot about uh, Devonta Smith. Um, but, yeah, uh, over a 1,000 yards, which really isn't that tough uh, anymore with the 17-game schedule, uh, seven touchdowns as well. So definitely, if you're in PPR leagues, make sure you get a guy like Smith on your team. Number 17, Michael Pittman, Jr., um, I, I'm expecting big things out of Anthony Richardson this year. So Michael Pittman uh, Jr. definitely going to be a big part of that as well. Coming in at number 16, Brandon Ayuk. Now, Ayuk, depending on where he goes, right now we have him slated with San Francisco. Uh, does he stay? Does he get traded somewhere else? If he gets traded somewhere else, that's definitely going to affect his numbers. Uh, so I don't want to speculate where he's going. I don't want to I don't want to uh, do any of that. I'm going to wait until we we get word on where he's going before I adjust any numbers. But right now, have him at number 16 heading into the preseason. Coming in at number 15, Cooper Cup. Who would have thought it, right? Cooper Cup. Now, now could there's a little bit of a at least talks if if Cup man, Cup would have been what top five last year heading into the season, right? But now now we are here at number 15. Uh, Drake London down there with the Atlanta Falcons. Kirk Cousins is the new quarterback down there. So we'll see. Uh, 83 catches, 1,100 yards we have projected. Uh, so we'll see. We'll get into the top 10 here in a couple minutes. 
But guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you check out our top 12 quarterbacks heading into the preseason. I did another video uh, doing the top 25 running backs as well. And we'll definitely have some more live streams with some mock drafts and some other stuff. Don't forget our new Discord is up and running. So be on the lookout for league announcements over there. Uh, so you got to join our Discord to, to be part of our fantasy football leagues. Coming in at number 13, there's one of the other wide receivers from Houston, Nico Collins. Uh, once again, Nico Collins, if it wasn't for Diggs being there, I would I would I would be all over Nico Collins. But uh, with the with the group of weapons they have there, I might try to try to get somebody else. Mike Evans down in Tampa Bay, second year with Baker Mayfield being the quarterback. Uh, really like their defense as well. So uh, should put up some big numbers again. Just about 1,200 yards, around 10 touchdowns. But let's keep going here. I didn't have a pro uh, pro picture yet of Marvin Harrison with Arizona. That's why no picture here. But, uh, yeah, expected big things from Marvin Harrison out there in Arizona. Uh, hopefully Kyler Murray can, can feed him the rock and uh, get those numbers up right now. Projected for 90 catches, 1,205 yards, and seven touchdowns. Let us know what you guys think of our projections for him heading into the season. All right, let's start getting into our top 10. Once again, these average draft positions are going to change. Some of the guys might not even have average draft position numbers yet as I'm still loading all that information into the system. All right, Chris Olave from the Saints. Uh, right now coming in at uh, 27th overall. Um, I don't know. I, I I personally am not a fan of of the Saints. Uh, not, not No issues with Olave. Uh Per se, but I just don't like I just don't like picking Saints players on my fantasy team. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. <laughs> Devonte Adams right now, he has not officially asked for a trade, but there are some rumblings uh, that the Jets are in talks with the Raiders. As a Jets fan, not sure how I feel about that because I do like our wide receiver core right now with Garrett Wilson and Mike Williams. So I don't want to give up too much. The problem is how much are you going to have to get up to get Adams? Love Adams as a player, but then you got to think about the compensation. We only have maybe one year of Aaron Rodgers, two possibly, but then he's going to be 41, 42 years old. I don't know. So there is a small window for the Jets. So I would understand making a move to try to get Adams, but uh, depending on compensation, we don't want to give up too much. Coming in at number eight, Garrett, Garrett Wilson of the Jets right now. Uh, average draft position just under 11. So we'll see. Uh, 95 catches, 1,200 yards. Put over 1,000 yards last year uh, without Aaron Rodgers. So should definitely be able to put up uh, uh, the yards. Not sure about the receptions there. 95, that seems like a lot to me. But, um, yep, once again, these numbers will be adjusted once we start seeing how how uh, training camps are going and preseason actions going as well. But A.J. Brown, the other Philadelphia Eagle wide receiver, uh, 1,300 yards, going to get nine, probably at least ten touchdowns. Um, you know, some some pressure coming off of that offense with Saquon Barkley now. Um, so I believe A.J. Brown and uh, Smith are going to be a little bit more wide open because you're not going to be able to just focus on the wide receivers now. Coming in at number six, Puka Nakua. Guy came out of nowhere, at least for me. I don't know about you guys. Um, our buddy Payo Time is a big-time Rams fan, uh, so I should. I hope we get to talk to him during the summer before before the season starts to ask him at a, about Puka, uh, where he came from, and uh, you know, were, were the Rams expecting uh, big? Th not maybe not as big as they actually were, uh, but what were the Rams' expectations of Puka heading into last season? But, yeah, definitely a guy right now number six on our fantasy rankings for wide receivers. Coming in at number four, five, Jamar Chase. Uh, we'll see. Right now he's got T. Higgins opposite of him, but here in T. Higgins uh, wants to be traded as well. So we'll see. We'll see how this pans out uh, if if he doesn't have that that number that number two wide receiver across from him. Uh, defenses can, can uh, double him a little bit more than they have been. So keep an eye on Chase as well. Justin Jefferson at number four. Who would have thought it, right? 1,500 yards projected over 100 catches. 
seven plus touchdowns. We'll see. We'll, we will see how Sam Darnold is in Minnesota. I'm rooting for the kid. Um, I'm one of the Jet fans that didn't want to get rid of Sam. Um, understood why they did it at the time, um, but Zach Wilson just didn't turn out. So, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how uh, Justin Jefferson does there this season with that new contract as well. Coming in at number three, Amon Ross St. Brown, one of my favorite players in the NFL. Um, absolutely love him. 110 uh, projected receptions, 1,400 yards, 10 plus touchdowns. Uh, definitely a guy. If I'm if I'm in the top five, uh, I'm targeting uh, St. Brown. Number two, Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill coming in at number two. A lot of people might have an issue with this. I might have a little bit of an issue myself with this, um, with Tyreek being number two and not number one. But we'll look. I mean, he's definitely the go-to guy there in Miami. Uh, definitely going to put up a ton of fantasy points, fantasy yards, touchdowns as well. But right now, the projections, uh, I can't argue against the projections that and the way I have them set up, and the average draft position right now has it set up that way as well. C.D. Lamb, 2.2 uh, average draft position right now, uh, 116 reject, uh, re receptions projected, 1,500 yards, 10-plus touchdowns, and we'll see. We'll see how the Dallas Cowboys do. Once again, for the wide receivers and running backs, I don't look so much at um, playoff uh Fantasy playoff schedule, like this 15, 16, and 17, uh, I really don't look at that. Only for quarterbacks, usually, because uh, usually usually uh, skill positions are going get to their, get, get their touches either way. So uh, don't, don't let that deter you from anything. I'm not going to do tight ends, kickers, and defenses. Those are usually a crapshoot after the first couple guys anyway. So... But, yeah, look for more live streams coming, guys, covering fantasy football. We're going to be doing mock drafts anytime we get some updated information uh, on on projections as well. So make sure you hit that thumbs up for us. Consider subscribing, and we'll see everybody in the next video.